Welcome back to The Investment Gem. This month I'm going to talk about preventative maintenance for your investment property. Firstly, I'll start with the cooling. If you have an evaporative cooler on your investment property, you should be getting it serviced seasonally. So at the start of summer, contact your tradesman to give your air conditioner a once over. This includes cleaning it, checking all the parts and making sure it's running efficiently. The second item is your gas ducted heating system. So your gas ducted heating system should be serviced at the start of winter. They also have a return air filter, which can be found located inside the home, either in the wall or in the ceiling. During winter, these should be cleaned fortnightly at the least monthly. So is your property manager trained on how to teach your tenants to clean their return air filter for their gas ducted heating system? If this filter blocks, it can cause overheating to your system and it can potentially cause the unit to shut down. So as you can see, this is a return air vent from a reverse cycle unit in a home. So a reverse cycle unit is generally heating and cooling and this one has not been cleaned for quite a while, which has caused lack of airflow in the home and a whistling noise in the reverse cycle unit. This can potentially blow up that unit in the home if it's not serviced and serviced correctly. Another preventative maintenance item is plumbing. Did you get a water efficiency test done before your tenants moved in? The biggest cause of insurance claims with plumbing is the, is the flexi hose underneath kitchen sinks and laundry tubs. When a tenant stores crystallised cleaning products under these areas, it causes a buildup of rust, which then causes those hoses to leak. So preventative maintenance is very important for your investment property. Gutter cleaning is another one with all the rain we've had, you need to make sure your stormwater drains are clean and your gutters are clean. If that water is not getting away from that home quick enough, it will potentially end up in the eaves of your home, which could cause mould buildup or further damage to that property. So if you're a landlord and you have any questions in regards to your property maintenance, please don't hesitate to get in contact with your property manager or your real estate with any questions you may have. So next month, I'm focusing on answering any questions that landlords may have in regards to their investment properties. So if you have any questions or you have something you'd like to know without having to contact a real estate, please send me a private message and I'm happy to either answer anonymously or post it on my next video. So see you all next month on The Investment Gem.